Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Now today I'm here to do 30 facts about me. So these are going to be all true. Um, so, so I am it. 5 foot 11. Um, I am quite tall. Um, but that, I, I last got measured in January I think. So I, sh I, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm 6 foot by now. But yeah, I, I'm quite tall. Sending at number two, um, I don't like spiders, okay? I don't care what you say, what you can call me, you can call me whatever. I just don't like them. They freak me the hell out. If I see a spider in my room, I'm just gone. And yeah, call me a pussy, I don't care. <laughs> I do have a job. Um, I work at the Jewelers H. Samuel. I don't know if you've ever heard of it or not. Um, but most of you from the UK might know um, what I'm on about. But yeah, I work in a Jewelers. Um, just normal sale assistant, just selling jewellery and stuff, um, and yeah. I am also at college as well as one of my job. I study graphics level 3, um, so just doing like computer stuff. Um, there's quite a lot of art and design involved as well, and it's something that I've wanted to do for quite some time. Uh, I did art and design last year, but this year I'm doing graphics um, because of my YouTube, so I hope to take some of the stuff I've learned uh, throughout the first year. Uh, and bring it into my YouTube, that's, yeah, that's the dream. Now the, for, for those of you who don't know, um, but if you follow me on Instagram and if you follow me on Facebook as well, you should know that I'm a massive Formula 1 fan. Um, I've been a Formula 1 fan ever since I was about 8, 7 or 8. Um, but yeah, just love the sport. My family have always, always watched it as well and uh, ever since I was about 7 or 8, yeah, I just started watching it non-stop. So I'm a huge Formula 1 fan. Obviously, got to be my man Lewis Hamilton. Um, sorry for anyone who doesn't support him, but I just love the guy and obviously he's British, so why wouldn't I support him? I started YouTube when I was 15. Um, I started it in 2014. Um, the exact date was the 14th of November. Right, boys and girls, so basically it turns out that I actually got the date completely wrong. It wasn't the 14th of November at all. It was actually the 9th of November. I have no idea where I got the 14th from, but yeah, it's actually the 9th, not the 14th. Um, yeah. On with the video. Um, so yeah, we three years on the channel. Um, once, once we obviously we get there. But um, yeah, really looking forward to um, having a, a three-year anniversary for my channel. It's um, it's been really good so far, and I uh, hope you guys have been enjoying it as well. I do also play a few instruments as well. I can play drums and guitar. I'm not super good at guitar. I guess I can play a few bits here and there. Um, you know, just the standard stuff really. But um, I can also play drums, like I say, um, I'm not superb at it, I, I guess, but um, like, like, like I say again, I'm not too bad. Uh, if you give me a drum kit, I'll play something, so. I am quite patient, uh, believe it or not. Um, I don't know if that comes as a shock to you or not, but um, no, I am quite patient. I, there are some times where I can be a little bit impatient, if depending on what mood I'm in, but I am quite a patient person. Now this next one, a lot of you might agree on me with this one, but I cannot go to use a public toilet. It's just non-existent to me because the amount of crap and people that people do in those public toilets, they literally have the worst aim in the world. They I literally see piss up the walls because I also obviously during uh, school and obviously college as well. College isn't too bad actually. The toilets are actually okay in there. But I mean like just going like I remember at school where there was just like piss and even poo everywhere and just people blocking the toilets and it's like what are you doing and like it's not just school it's like just like um cubicles as well like you know like restaurants and stuff it's just um it's just nasty so it's something i don't really like to do i am a huge green day fan um obviously you've seen all the posters around my room before um, and yeah, they're just an amazing band. I've seen them live before as well. I saw them in 2013 at Emirates, and I'm an Arsenal fan as well. So that's quite. That's, that was a, a sort of like a double double day um, of quality. But yeah, a huge, huge Green Day fan. Um, and to all, to all my Green Day fans out there, stay awesome. <laughs> I'm a huge lover of pizza. I mean, come on, who doesn't love a bit of pizza? But to be honest. That's all I could eat. That's all I could ever be. I could live on pizza. I love it so much. I cannot stand Marmite. Um, for those of you who live in the UK, well, actually, you know, people who live in America, I think it's called Vegemite, but yeah. If anyone loves Marmite, then there's something wrong with you because the, the, the smell, the taste, the look, it's just, 
Ugh. It is not nice at all. I have never broken a bone in my body whatsoever. Um, it's actually a point I'm going to make uh, later on in another fact. But um, yeah, I've never broken a, bo uh, never broken a bone. Um, so I'm quite proud of that considering what I have, which I'll, like I say, I'll explain a little bit later on in the video. I am an absolute fan of The Walking Dead. I mean, you can see my calendar there, it's just behind me. But yeah, um, Walking Dead is probably one of my favourite series um, ever. It's something I just loved. I, I actually never never did watch it from the, from the beginning. My friend Matt got me into it. Um, you, you guys know that. You should do anyway. Um, but yeah, he's actually the one that got me into it and then ever since then I've just been absolutely obsessed. Um, obviously I've, I'm into zombies and that sort of stuff, that's already up my street, so that was... To get into that, uh, it, was, it was really good. So yeah, massive fan of The Walking Dead. Okay, this one, I talk to myself a lot, okay, uh, especially being a YouTuber right now, because I'm, I'm talking to myself right now, you could say, but I'm also talking to you guys. But yeah, when I'm just out and about and on my own at home, just like talking to myself, singing to myself, you name it, so, but I think a lot of people do that anyway, I hope, I hope I'm not the only one, I don't know. <laughs> During my whole school career, I was always the best kid, uh, first school, primary school, and then secondary school, even like college now, I'm still like the best kid ever, i still got the best attendance, I actually got a certificate last year at college for the best attendance, so I've always been a good kid, just, uh, just want to pass and do well in life I suppose but it's really annoying when people say like oh yeah you're always going to lesson because oh you're a nerd no not really because I don't want to fail like the pricks that don't want to fail so yeah it's just something I've always always done in my life now obviously I've already touched on this previously uh, with Green Day but I'm a massive rock fan um, literally give me any band to listen to I will listen to it and I'll tell you if I like it or not normally I do 100% I do because obviously it's rock and I just love rock. I'm also starting to get into heavy metal as well. Um, obviously that's not really rock, it's heavy metal, but it, it's kind of the same thing, so so yeah. I love the summertime, uh, literally summer's like the, my, my favourite season of the whole year. Uh, it's just it's just nice because you can always, it's always nice, well we live in the UK so it's not always nice, but um, when we do have a nice weather it really is nice here. And it's you know it's just a, it's just a time where you can always go out, have a good time, play football, drink a little beer, chill out. And it's just yeah, it's just always always good. Growing up as a kid, I always used to play out with my friends and then be sweating when I come in uh, to go to bed and all that sort of stuff. It's just a really happy time of the year, I suppose. And with summer coming up this year, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to it actually. Um, obviously, now I've got my job. I'm not used to college and job. So it's, it's sort of nice to have a break from it all and uh, and have some time off. I love the colour red. Um, I don't know why. It's just been a, a colour, a favourite colour of mine for a long time. I think I think it's just a cool colour. You know. So yeah. I am 17 years old. Um, I don't know if you guys knew that or not. Um, but uh, I am actually turning 18 uh, this year in July, so I can't wait for that. It's right in the middle of summer as well, my birthday each year, so it's actually really nice to have a birthday right in the middle of the summer. But um, yeah, turning 18, it's going to be quite a big one, um, and it's quite a scary one as well, um, because obviously, you know, 18 is quite a big year. Um, but I'm obviously looking forward to it, but, um, but yeah, can't wait to be 18. I am the worst liar there is on the planet, literally. I can't lie for shit. I'm. <laughs> I literally. I try and lie, and I just fail miserably. People know as soon as straight away. As soon as I say something, they're like, "Yeah, you're obviously, you're obviously not telling the truth." So yeah. I am a very, very tidy person, um, especially when it comes to my room, because my mum was always coming into my room and being like, "You know what? For a teenager, your room is your room is very tidy." And it is, I'm, I'm just not a tidy person, you know, normally teenagers are just like, ugh, putting clothes on the floor, just mess everywhere, but as you can tell, hang on, I'll uh, just show you my room around. So as you can see, there's my bag and my bin down there, uh, there's a guitar there, but most of the floor is pretty clean. I don't know if you can see, it might be a little bit too dark, but, but yeah, this is my desk here as well, um, but yeah, there's some shit down there, but, you know, 
fairly out of the way and at least you can actually get into my room so yeah like I say I'm, I'm quite a tidy person I don't watch TV I uh, I just don't see the point it's it's boring they just play the same crap over and over and over again like I don't know if you've watched you've been framed but for those of you in the UK but they literally play the the videos over and over and over again like you've seen them like thousands of times and with technology these days with phone and tablets and, and things like that you don't really need TV because you've got Netflix you can catch up with all your series you've got films on there as well and it's just because I spend most of my time on YouTube and obviously I have a TV there but I only use it for for gaming really that's about it so I don't see the point in TV anymore unless they're going to change it which I would like to see but I don't really know what they could do with it to be honest because there's, they've, over, they've already got smart TVs which already has Netflix and YouTube on it and stuff like that but I don't know I'd like to see it change because like I can sound a bit bored of, of just TV like I say I hardly watch any of it so it's just boring to me I like to think of myself as a funny guy um, if you've ever met any of my friends they would probably say yeah he was a funny guy and yes, it's true. I like I like to make people laugh, and it's just something I've I've really done all my life. Really, um, obviously, it's not a bad thing. It's always good to be uh, happy and smiling. But yeah, it's um it's always something you know, I've done all my life. It's just make make people laugh. <laughs> I am a huge fan of art and design. Um, I love to draw. It's um it's more more on my dad's side of the family really. Um, it doesn't really come from my mum's side. Uh, no offence mum, um, but yeah, I'm massively into drawing and just art in general. Um, I actually uh, posted a few art art pictures, uh, like drawings, on my Instagram, if you haven't seen uh, that yet. I'll leave a link down to my uh, Instagram so you can go follow it. But um, yeah, I do love art design, it's just uh, obviously I did that college, so um, and now I'm doing the graphics, so it's sort of the mix, so it, it, it is very good. I am single. I am. Um, for those of you who don't know, me and Amy aren't together. Um, we broke up uh, about August last year, I think. It's been quite a while anyway. Um, but yeah, we, we still stay in contact and everything like that. Um, but yeah, um, so, girls, pick up the phone. <laughs> Why did I say I didn't have to say that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But yeah, I am single at the moment. Um, so yeah, I can be a lazy shit. Um, I really can, honestly. If I've had like college all week, like Tuesday to Friday, because that's the days I'm in, and then I work on the weekend, I just I stay in bed till like midday on on the Monday, which when I'm off. So I, I suppose it's not all bad because I deserve a laying, but still I can I can sometimes stay in for like one or two. It's ridiculous, but I don't care. <laughs> I have never been in a fight. Like um, like a school fight or anything like that. Not not nothing major anyway. I've had like a few little scraps here and there, but I've never actually been in a full fight like punches and kicks and everything like that. Like I've never been like a fighting person. Not sounding like a pussy or anything, but it's I like to keep things cool, you know. And it will touch on the point on my last fact. Um, like I say, so um, so yeah. I am a huge fan of the Resident Evil series, um, all the games, all the films. Um, I love the games especially. I, I've played every single one. Um, but yeah, it's, um, like I say, I, I'm a massive fan of zombies as well. So if you've got anything to suggest zombie-wise, then hit me up because I'm interested to know. But um, but yeah, even the films. Uh, I think uh, the last film of the Resident Evil series actually came out at the start of this year, which I still haven't watched yet. Um, so I want to get on that very soon, but yeah, massive fan of the Resident Evil series and um, it's just very cool. So guys, we are down to the last fact. Now, uh, a lot of you may not know this because I don't think I've mentioned it on my channel before. I don't think I have anyway, but the last fact is I have a condition called haemophilia. Now, if anyone can comment how to spell that in the comment section, I'll give you a cookie because honestly, it's not, it's not an easy word to spell, so go on, give it a try and I'll give you a cookie. <laughs> but yeah, no, basically guys, what it is, it's a, a, con a blood condition. Um, so basically my blood is thin. Therefore, uh, my blood doesn't clot like other people's does. 
does. That was that was bad English, but yeah. I don't know, my blood doesn't clot basically, so my blood's a lot thicker. So if I was to get a bruise or a punch, a punch, then I would get a bruise. And then obviously, sometimes it could be a lump as well. Basically, I have to take it easy. So obviously I can't play rugby, otherwise I'd just come out like an absolute mess. Um, but it, a lot of people say like, is it hard to live with and, and stuff like that but um no really it's it's actually not i live my life like a normal person and obviously you know it's not very visible so and yeah these aren't bruises by the way if you're wondering what these are these are just flea bites from my cats and fucking dog um but yeah it's um i actually have to take injections for it as well um on a every other day um, sort of thing, so they, they just go in, in here, in the part of the hand, or the, or the backs of my hands. But I don't really go in the backs of the hands because obviously the hands are very bony and it can be a little bit of a bitch sometimes. Um, so yeah, that's um, it's not great to live with, but obviously, you know, I, I try and get on with my life as best as I can. And, and being a massive motorsport fan as well, when I want to go go kind, I still do because obviously, you know, it's not all bad because it's only go-karting, but um, that's probably the only, the only motorsport form I could actually do. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do anything, anything better. If I ever got the chance, I would take it anyway, with both hands. But but yeah, the injection is just to basically sort of protect it. So if I was to get a lump, I'd have the injection and it would go down. So that's how, that's how it works. Um, but yeah, I've had it all my life and I will have it for the rest of my life. So it's just something I have to deal with. And obviously this is for the previous fact about I've never broken a bone in my body so obviously having thin blood um, and things like that I've, 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 I've been through a lot in my life like I've had some bad bleeds um, I remember once I fell over at school in primary school and I, I smashed my knee uh, my right knee and my knee was so bad probably not one of the worst injuries I've ever had um, so yeah that wasn't that wasn't very nice but um, yeah, like I say, I try and live my life like a normal person and it doesn't really affect me too much, obviously. So, yeah, it's um, it's not all bad. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's actually quite special as well because obviously people come up to you and you'd be like, um, oh yeah, I have a condition called hemophilia and then people are really interested in you. So, I, I could use that as an advantage, I suppose. And, Getting attention? No, I'm joking. I'm not an, uh, I'm not an attentionist person. Attentionist is that a word? Tensional person. Um, or anything like that. But, um, but yeah, it's something I'll have for the rest of my life and that's just the way it goes, unfortunately. So guys, that has been it for this video. Um, I'm really sorry for the lack of uploads recently. Um, obviously, I, I say this a lot because obviously I just... I feel like I don't have a lot of time at the moment because Obviously I mentioned in this video I have college and work so it's very difficult to fit those in together and it's um, something I just want to just clarify that it's not because I don't like doing YouTube or I'm lazy or anything like that it's just because it's, it's very difficult you know so um, but thank you guys ever so much for watching this video I have a ton of stuff planned uh, over summer once I have I have about seven or six weeks off Something like that. So I have a lot of time off over summer, so I'll be able to smash out a load of videos. But um, I'm going to keep you entertained before that. I think it'll be like July time. I have all those cool videos planned. But um, but yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new as well. Don't forget, we're still trying to hit 100 subs, and uh, once we do, I will be doing a Q&A, like I said. So make sure you. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, remember, try and spell hemophilia uh, when it gets a cookie. And take care, guys. Peace out.